Hello, welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm currently sitting on the couch. Um, not the most ideal lighting, so I apologize for that. I'm wrapped in a blankie, and I just kind of want to have. Um, are you really gonna do this right now? Anyways, I just kind of wanted to talk to some of you guys because um, about what's really going on and I I try to be positive and I've been trying to be better as most of you if you've seen my channel know and I I hear people think like if you put yourself into like a positive mind or you think positive like you'll be positive but now I just feel like I'm almost being fake about it and I want to be honest and I want to try to help people that's by my whole point this whole time so I have been up and down lately and uh, I've had really bad down moments and I want to talk about something for those of you who have depression and anxiety and are scared and feel alone I mean 100% get you but it's hard when you are surrounded with people who don't necessarily understand that and who um, who don't deal with that, who don't know what it's like to don't understand what it's like to not want to get out of bed some days, to want to disappear, to, um, to just sleep all day, to not do anything, to exclude yourself. It's not like we purposely try to do it. It's that you don't feel worthy. Like I don't fear, feel worthy to do anything. I don't want to do anything. I second guess everything and <sighs> it sucks like it really sucks and I feel like people who know if you open up about what's going on with you um, and you still have people around you that don't aren't helping the situation out I think that's truly the hardest I think what's so hard about it is that it's not fair that other people should have to be different than they are around you in order to make you feel better but it's also hard when people know how you are or how you're feeling and how you know you're in a bad spot and yet they don't try to um you know help you and I don't even know if this I any mean, of this is making sense but I'm just I'm, I feel like I'm in such, okay, I'm not cutting my wrist. These are from cat scratches, but, um, I just, I feel like, I feel alone, even though I'm not alone. I know I have people that are there for me. I know I have, I have some good friends in my life and I know that I'm not necessarily alone, but I feel alone because when people ask me what's going on, I literally can't explain it. Like, I don't know what to say. I'm just not okay. Like I'm just, I'm just not okay. I, I don't know myself. I just know that I'm not always happy. I'm sad. I'm, I feel alone. I feel like I need to be reassured constantly that people like me, that I am loved. And I feel like I constantly need reassurance, which is not fair that people should have to constantly do that. But at the same time, like, that's what I need. And so it's this hard thing because you don't want to ask people to tell you what they love about you or why they're your friends or anything like that. But at the same time, those things are what make you feel worthy. I go through spells where I want to not do YouTube. I want to delete my Instagram, delete my Facebook, delete all of my social media. I just want to disappear from the world. But I know that that isn't really going to help. I mean, do I think that, yeah, people who go through anxiety and depression do need to take time off social media? For sure, 100%. Um, but I also don't want to disappear because I feel like that's what a lot of people who go through things like this do. And I don't want to do that. I want to be, I want to be other people's voices that... 
I don't like I don't even know how to explain this uh, quit doing YouTube or I want to because I don't feel like enough people care or you know whatever stupid reason I come up with in my brain and then somebody comes along and says some of the sweetest things to me or tells me how I'm helping them and you have no idea how much that means and the same with me what I want to start doing is you have no idea when you say something how big of an impact that can be on somebody um, if somebody's having a really rough day and you say something really nice to them if it's just one thing like your hair looks pretty you have no idea how that can impact some people's lives how that can change their whole day around and it just we need to start being nicer to each other and we need to start you know being real and being honest and saying how we feel and not being scared and I kind of had a breakdown this weekend and I've had I had some pretty great friends um you know tell me I'm not alone and I'm like I feel crazy like I feel like people don't understand me I feel I just I don't feel okay I don't feel normal right now and I hate that there's a stigma on feeling this way I just want the stigma to go away that if you are feeling like anxious and depressed and mostly depressed, if you are feeling depressed, I don't want, like, it's awful that people will think that you're doing it for attention, that it, there's just such a bad stigma on it. And you want to, it's okay. Because if you actually look up the statistics and if you actually talked and opened up with people, you would be shocked and amazed at how many people are on medications for it and how many people feel the same way you do. But we don't like to talk about it because it's a bad stigma to talk about and say. And the thing is, I'm not saying that you need to open up and tell everybody if you're depressed or you know anxious and have anxiety. What I'm saying is that there's more people that feel the same way that you do than you know. And sometimes opening up is super scary like what I'm doing right now my point is is that if you <clears throat> are feeling this way reach out like reach out to me reach out to anybody like you are not alone and you have no idea sometimes how what you say or do to somebody can ruin their day or make their day and if you just compliment somebody like I, my new thing is like if I see someone and I think they're pretty or like their shirt or their outfit or anything, like say it because you have no idea that day, that person could be having the worst day of their life and you saying that could honestly 100% change it around and I know that I've had those days where I literally want to give up and just on the day and I, I don't want to, you know, keep making videos anymore and then somebody tells me that. I'm helping them or and that is that is the point like because one person said something like that to me my whole outlook changed because it's so nice to hear nice things from people and it's nice to hear nice things from people that either a you don't expect to hear them from or b you're not begging or hinting or asking for that person to say nice things about you it's not where you're like I'm so ugly and you're expecting people to say no you're not it's different than that is what I'm trying to get at and I want the stigma on anxiety and depression to go away I want it to I want it to be acceptable to feel that way and people not to think you're crazy and not to feel like you need to go into a mental institution and to think that if you're on meds for them that you're nuts or that you're doing it for attention because you're not people don't People, I mean, maybe, but people don't want to be depressed. I don't want to feel this way. I don't want to feel this way at all. I hate being anxious. My chest hurts. It gets tight. I feel like I'm having a heart attack. I hate being depressed. I literally push people away. It is, it's just not okay. Nobody wants to feel this way. And it's not pretty, like, in the movies how they make it seem or how TV shows make it seem or how people... Or, you know, make it seem on social media. It is a real, true, dark, dark, deep thing. And for those of you who have it um, or know somebody that has it, you know that it's a real thing. You know it's not just this simple, easy 
fake emotion that people are just doing for attention. Like, you know, it's not true. I may, I just want you to know that if you are feeling any sort of way about this, you are not alone. You are not alone at all. And if you need anyone to talk to, I will be there. I will be there for you. I completely understand everything you're going through. And, you know, we all have issues, you know, with our childhood or our past or things like that, that, you know, can be affecting the way we feel today. And we all have different situations. We all have different reasonings. And um, we all have different waves of depression. We all have different reasons for feeling the way we feel. And um, I also don't like when people compare each other's feelings um, you can't say, well, I have it worse than you because this, this, and this happened to me because all those things happen to, you know, person A and they may be really strong because of it. So now the little things don't affect them as much where a person B might have not had all these crazy things happen to them, but now they're having a couple things happen to them. And that can be as depressive as someone who's gone through worse things. If that makes any sense, you cannot compare and compete with your depression with people. They people have different, you know, um, views of how they're sad or upset, and people have different things that go on in their life. And you can't, you like I said, you can't compete and you can't compare because everybody has different things that upset them a different amount. It is okay to be yourself, and it is okay to admit when you're sad and lonely and it's okay to admit when you need help and it is okay to be who you are and want to you know get better or I keep challenging myself every day to keep on going and I'm talking about it because if any of you if anybody who's watching this feels the same way it's okay to struggle and you need lows in life to lows in life to appreciate the highs in life and I understand that it just it sucks when you're you are in such a bad rut that you can't see the highs coming you can't you're not excited for or you can't picture like the happy moments coming I'm taking everything day by day and I'm doing things that I think will help me like it's like I know I'm in a bad place but I'm also aware that I'm in the bad place aware enough that I'm trying to succeed in getting out of my bad place. So, you know, taking care of yourself, that is the main thing that I quit doing when I get in these moods. I've been trying to eat better and work out better because although my physical appearance doesn't necessarily mean that my emotionals will match up, it's taking care of myself that will make me feel better. Getting myself up, the hardest thing for me is that I'm lazy, I'm tired all the time, and then I get, I come home, I just want to lay down. I just want to not do anything. And pushing yourself to get up and go and do those things is, is how you have to try to get yourself out of those ruts. And it is so unbelievably hard, which people who don't have depression or anxiety don't understand this, but it is so unbelievably hard to get up and get yourself motivated and do something when you feel this way, but I promise, promise, promise you, if you try and just do one simple thing, you will feel so much better. Don't let anyone, anyone make you feel like you are not good enough. And if you, if you are around people that make you feel that way, get away from them, cut them out of your life. Because the people that are around you should support you, whether your situation was 10 times worse or 10 times better than what it is now. The people that are there for you and support you when you're going through these mo modes, moods, you need to keep them around and you need to let them know that them being there means the world to you because it's not always an easy thing to be around and I'm sure my friends probably get sick of me talking about it and I'm sure they probably get sick of me being like this and, um, but you have no idea how much you sticking around means and being there for your friends. So. My best advice to those who have depression and anxiety are to keep going. Look for outlets. I guarantee you are not alone, even though it's so scary. I'm so, I'm so scared to post this video. For those that are with somebody or support somebody with depression and anxiety, you have no idea how much you're helping that person and changing their lives. And by supporting them, and even though they feel alone because they can't explain their emotions, they still know that you are there 
which makes them also feel not alone in a different aspect. So thank you for those of people who stick around and support those of us who have issues. And once again, you are not alone if you feel this way. And if you ever, ever, ever need to talk or anything, get a hold of me any any way you can, any social media form. And I promise I will be there for you and listen and not judge you because I am there and have been there and I understand. Thank you so much for listening to my long ass rant. I just wanted to get this off my chest because I've been going through hard times. So thank you guys so much for listening. If you're still listening, um, please give this video a like if you did like it or um, just to help me and to support other people going through this way. If you like this video, feel free to share it and subscribe to my channel if you would like to see more. Well, thank you.